Welcome in, everybody, as we get you ready for live coverage of model basketball tonight on the Northwest Georgia Media live stream and also WLAQ. We get radio and television for you tonight. I'm Matt Davis alongside Ian Griffin to bring you the call of the boys game, which we have coming up for you in less than 10 minutes. It's the model Blue Devils and the Gordon Central Warriors. Really looking forward to this one, Ian. Yeah, this one should be a good ball game. You've got some size. Uh, an experience over here for, for the Gordon Central Warriors. It's a region battle, an important game, important stepping stone towards the postseason. Before we move forward in our broadcast, definitely want to thank the folks that make it possible for the magic to happen on the live stream. The 2023-2024 Model High School Basketball live stream sponsors are as follows. Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Radio sponsors tonight for you. Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, Sylvan Learning Center, and Ware Mechanical. And we are very happy in partnership with Northwest Georgia Media to be a part of this broadcast. Here's the crew, cameras, Benton Potts, and Caleb Vice director tonight is Mike Garrett. Replay is Nathan Patterson. PA announcer is Grayson Atkins, and he also helps us come up with the starting lineups and all that kind of stuff, which we really appreciate. And of course, again, uh, commentary provided by WLAQ Sports. And Lynn Butler is back at the studio tonight at Command Central at WLAQ. And I do want to mention before we take our first break here in the pregame of the boys game, or our only break, because we're closing in on time for tip off of this game, that we've got uh, again a, a a uh, triple header of basketball. We had the girls game for you already. We got the boys game coming up. And then after that, we're going to have Georgia Tech basketball as they take on Notre Dame. Georgia Tech really needs a win tonight. They, they lost do. to Boston College. You've got Notre Dame visiting, a team that's really struggled this year. This is one of those games that, that Coach Stoudemire and his team really got to come up with a victory. And, and they blew a pretty big lead against Boston College on Saturday. They were, they were up by 16 or so at halftime, I think, and ended up losing by double digits. So a disappointing loss at home. Uh, it's been an up and down season for Tech. There's been some real high highs, but there have been some low lows. Well, we're going to take a break here for about two and a half minutes. And after we come back from the break, we'll set the stage here for this game, give you the starting lineups and have the tip off. We are about three and a half minutes away from tip off. So let's step out for two and a half minutes. We'll come back with more on the pregame after these messages on WLAQ. allows me to do what I've always dreamed of, and that is helping people. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible.
Yeah. Both of these teams, they have a lot of it. Yes, they do. I mean, in the girls' game, Gordon Central came out with black unis with the with the white trim and, and silver numbers. Uh, but uh, th yeah, this is uh, this is a lot of blue and white. Big time. Well, we're going to give you the starting lineups. We'll get things underway. Didn't really have a chance to talk about the records and the numbers and things of that nature in our pregame, so we'll do that as we go along in the broadcast. But uh, they're ready to get this thing going. So we're going to give you the starting lineups for both teams, and then we'll get things underway from Woodard Gymnasium here at Model High School. We're going to start with the visiting Gordon Central Warriors. And in the starting lineup tonight for the Warriors, got zero, Matt Hammock, a 6'3 junior. Also in the starting lineup, number one, Lucas Brayer. He is a 5'7 junior as well. Number 10, Isaac Hutchins, a 6'2 senior. Also in the starting lineup, a 6'2 junior. That's number 12, Amir Harrison. And then rounding out the starting five here for the Warriors, you're going to have number 23, DJ Fleetwood, a 6'3 junior. Now, for your Blue Devils, I will mention to you the head coach of the Gordon Central Warriors is Wes Greer. And now on to your model Blue Devils. And we're going to start with number 11, Stevie Dallas, a 5'9 junior. Number 14, Noah Travis, a 5'10 junior. Number 15, Riley Chapman, a 5'5 senior. Number 23, Chase Allen, a 6'5 junior. And rounding out the starting five for your model Blue Devils is number 33, Jerry Mice Hurd, a 6'9 senior. Hard to believe we won't be calling that young man's name and the other seniors coming up after this season's over. It's kind of yeah, wild, isn't it? It is wild. But that's the way it works. It is. You know? Uh, model Blue Devils are coached by longtime model coach Jacob Travis, led his team to the Final Four last year. That's the farthest that model team has made it in the boys' side in history of the program. Yeah, fantastic run for them. The banner is fresh and hanging on the wall over here uh, to commemorate that run. Man, it was spectacular. It really was. Never going to forget that. Well, we're getting ready as the Gordon Central Warriors, as you mentioned, are in their blue uniforms with white letters and numbers and white trim. Meanwhile, the Blue Devils are in their white uniforms with looks like black letters and numbers with blue trim. And we're just about set to go. You've got number 12, Amir Harrison, in the circle for Gordon Central. For model, it was Chase Allen, and Gordon Central comes up with the tip. They will start with possession of the ball. Amir Harrison with it, drives in, a little runner, and through opens up the scoring immediately. Impressive drive from Harrison, the 6'2 junior. Model comes back the other way, trying to answer. Chase Allen bounces it to the right wing side, the Noah Travis. Now on to Stevie Dallas. They go to the high post. A nice sharp pass inside of Chase Allen from Jeremiah Hur Goes to Riley Chapman on the left wing. Dallas for three. That one caroms off the rim, but Chase Allen was there to get the rebound. And coming out with it, it's actually Gordon Central and Hammett. With it is Harrison. He'll back up and set the offense up here for Gordon Central. Gordon Central leads it two to zero. Now back to Hammock, left wing side, corner three on the way. That was too strong. And we're gonna have a whistle yeah. and a foul against Gordon Central. That's on number 10, Isaac Hutchins over the back. So model trailing two to zero here early in this one. We'll bring it up the floor. Chase Allen will send it in motion. Over to Stevie Dallas. He's already across the timeline quick. Gives it back to Allen, who's at the top of the key. Lobs it underneath to Jeremiah. Hurd turns, shoots, scores. Hurd has the height, the girth, the strength. He's got it all, man. <laughs> Feed that guy on the block and watch him work. Here comes Gordon Central the other way with it. Lucas Breyer with it. Now going to send it around to Fleetwood up top. They go to Hammock. Hammock leaves it back for Breyer. I think that's how you say his name. Breyer dribbling with the ball. Going to back up and set up the half court. Off. It's here for Gordon Central. Makes a move right to the low block. Puts it up. Misses the shot. Rebound goes to Model. Blue Devils across the timeline. Stevie Dallas tries to feed it to Chase Allen. Picked off by Amir Harrison. Coast to coast. Tries to roll it in. Gets wow. blocked by Allen. What a block by Allen. <laughs> Went sky high to get all ball and nobody there. We're going to get another look at this on the video stream. Man. Warren Central triggers it in motion, and he wow. travels. Yeah, back to Allen. Took a couple of steps, too many there. But Fleetwood's a big boy, too. He really is. Stevie Dallas across the center court, strike dribbles right, now goes up towards the top of the key around a pick set by Chase Allen. Gives it to Noah Travis back to Dallas. Noah with it, had it poked loose, but retains possession. 
Dallas with it. And he starts to drive. Now dribbles back out around the perimeter. The feed underneath from Riley Chapman to Jeremiah Hurd and a whistle and a foul. They were I think all four guys. Over Jeremiah yeah, yeah. There were four guys guarding him under the hoop there. And they still had to foul. Yeah. So we get ready for Stevie Dallas to inbound the ball here for the Blue Devils underneath their own basket from the baseline. Dallas surveys the floor, is going to lob it in, gets it to Noah Travis. Travis now with it works left, now feeds it up top to Chase Allen. Thought about the three, drives in with the right hand, puts it up, misses the shot. But we are going to see Allen at the charity stripe here. Yeah, able to draw the foul there. So we're tied up at two apiece as you've had a bucket from Harrison for Gordon Central and one for Hurd. And now Chase Allen at the free throw line has an opportunity to give the Blue Devils the first lead of the game for them. Shots on the way and it's through. So Model has the first lead here early in this contest. And we get ready for the second shot from Chase. It's on the way and that one rattles in. Makes them both two 100%. for two, 100%. <laughs> Gordon Central works around a little pressure. Now they've got half court trap. It's a walk. And it's effective, yeah. forces him to walk. Yeah, Riley Chapman. Chapman did a great job there putting the pressure on defensively. Stevie Dallas brings it up the floor for the Blue Devils. They lead it four to two at the high post with it as Jeremiah's heard. Now gives the feed to Stevie Dallas, drives in and travels. Uh, I think they nope, got him on the got floor. Him on yeah, they're going to they're going to not give him continuation, so that won't be shooting foul, but it'll stay with model nonetheless. So Stevie Dallas surveys the floor, looking to set things in motion, and he is going to find Noah Travis, who's in front of the Gordon Central bench. Long range three, and he buries it. Whoa, Noah Travis, coach's kid, a gem rat, and you can tell he has got plenty of confidence firing up that three ball. Seven to two, model leads by five. Nice move inside and finish there from DJ Fleetwood. Answers back, seven to four, cuts it to a three-point ball game. Model on top. Chase Allen with it on the other side. Now the feed over to Noah Travis on the right wing, back up top to Stevie Dallas. The feed to Jeremiah's Hurd. Both teams still kind of feeling each other out. Driving is Stevie Dallas, kicks it out to the left wing side to Chase Allen, the drive. And he's inside with two defenders all over him. He's going to feed it out to Noah Travis. Cross court pass to Stevie Dallas. Great ball movement. Great move by Riley Chapman to open up the three. And he drills it. Banks Side it steps. Home. The defender yeah. puts up the shot and yeah. just drills it. Whew. Two threes early. Yeah. One for Noah Travis and one for Riley Chapman. We're going to see the shot replay. from Chapman again, but boy, he really shook off that defender, put up the shot, as you mentioned, banked it off the glass and went through. So Central will inbound the ball. They get at the top of the key to Harrison. Harrison jacks up the three and it's three. Right. Harrison with a couple of buckets early. 10 to seven, lead cut back to three, model on top. Riley Chapman with it on the right wing side in front of the Gordon Central bench. We'll feed it across to Stevie Dallas. Corner three attempt from Noah Travis. That one's off the mark by Hare. Rebound taken by Gordon Central, a long rebound. They kick it up top here to Harrison. He kicks it right wing side. Now into the corner, back up to the top of the key. Hammock's got it. He's gonna send it left. Now Harrison's going to drive towards the low block, loses the handle, picking it up is Stevie Dallas. Dallas will dribble across the center court stripe. It's going to send it left wing side to an open chase Allen for three. Wow. Yes, sir. Smooth from the big man. Three made threes now for Model here in this first quarter, and they lead it 13 to seven. Man, here come a few fresh legs for, for the Model. That's Owen Mathis. And you've got John Mason entering the game as well. Gordon Central with the ball. Harrison takes the inbound pass. Tries to work around a couple of defenders. Feeds it right. There's a three ball. That's up. Going to be short. Rebound taken by Jeremiah's Hurd. Here comes Model the other way and quick. Owen Mathis backs up. Going to feed it back out to John Mason. He starts to drive. Now kicks it back out to Riley Chapman. Lost the handle for a second. Here is another big time long range shot in and out for Noah Travis. 
Can't get that one down the cylinder. Here's another three ball on the way. That one's in and out as well. John Mason with the putback attempt. He kicks it out to Noah Travis after the miss. Little runner on the way. That one's off the back of the iron, won't go. And Gordon Central comes down with the rebound. Travis a little slow to get up there. Gordon Central with the ball. They're going to feed it around to the top of the key. Harrison's got it. Ball is poked free. Good hands by Mason. And Gordon Central goes back court. Coach Greer is arguing that that ball was tipped, but doesn't win. Shaking his head on the sidelines. I love to watch coaches. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Especially passionate coaches. Yeah. The coach with some fire. Yeah. Jeremiah Hurd will take a seat along with Riley Chapman. So on the floor right now for model, Stevie Dallas has the ball. You've got John Mason, Owen Mathis, Noah, um, Nathan Patterson. Thomas Patterson is into the game. Nathan's his dad. And also Bryson Denson on the floor for model. Drive from Stevie Dallas and the finish. Stevie Dallas does his thing where he just glides through the air. Unbelievable hang time. And finishes the acrobatic basket. The lob underneath gets away from Gordon Central. John Mason comes out with it. Here's a pass to Bryson Denson down low to Thomas Patterson trying to get the shot off. Gets it to the rim, but Gordon Central comes away with it. Uh, Patterson, those were contested shots there for Patterson. but Shot from deep, and it is through a corner three for number 32, Peyton Chastain, his first bucket of the game. Cuts it to five points. Bryson Denson, John Mason, ball poked free, chasing it down in the backcourt is going to be Stevie Dallas. Dallas uses his speed to avoid the turnover there. Now Owen Mathis, left wing side to John Mason, up top to Bryson Denson. Good ball movement from the Blue Devils. Owen Mathis has got it, and he is going to feed it across to Bryson Denson. Now to Stevie Dallas for three, and oh, it's through. Money. Boys. Dallas with five points, has four threes in the game here for Model. 114 left to go in the quarter. Model leads at 18 to 10 over Gordon Central. They're going to send it underneath, now kick it out. Gordon Central with the ball, make a move towards the paint. Little runner, that's off the mark. Rebound taken by John Mason. Back and forth game here. Mason with it, sends it left wing side. Bryson Denson for three. That one sails on him a little bit. Gordon Central with the long board goes back the other way. Ball poked loose by Stevie Dallas, but it stays with Gordon Central. Harrison's got it at the top of the key. Feeds it right wing side to Matt Hammock. 40 seconds left on the clock in the quarter. Gordon Central with the ball with 20 seconds to work with on the shot clock. Euro step, pass underneath, shot is through. That was Travion Millsap, but I got to tell you, what a great feed by Harrison. Yeah, man. it was, and Gordon Central doing just enough here to not let Model run away with it yet. Three ball on the way and through for Owen Mathis. Five made threes for Model in the first quarter. 21-12 the score. Model up by nine. He gets it through the gene pool as Mama used to run the point at Rome Middle and Rome High School. So seven seconds on the clock. Gordon Central will make their move. There's Harrison. A kick out. Doesn't take the three. Drives. They may not get a shot off, and yeah. they do not. Turned it over. Model tried to heave it yeah. from three quarters court but couldn't get a shot off in time. It was off the mark regardless, and that's the end of the first quarter. Model 21, Gordon Central 12, a nine-point lead for Model. We'll be back in one minute. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible.
Three ball on the way, right out of the break, and it's through Riley Chapman. That is the sixth made three for Model in the first half. Not even 10 seconds into the start of the second quarter. Guns blazing for the Blue Devils. Dang. Uh, lights out shooting. Great marksmanship for the Blue Devils so far in this one, and that is the difference in the game, 24 to 12. Model has doubled up Gordon Central early. Gordon Central with the ball, Harrison in the feed up top. There's a two ball, that's gonna be left short. Chasing down the rebound is gonna be Noah Travis. He brings it across center court here for the Blue Devils, picks it up, sends it to Stevie Dallas, thought about the long range three, the drive, the reverse layup, missed it, but he got the contact. And he almost put enough English on that bad boy to get it to drop, but he gets to the line. So this young Steve, man is fun to watch. He really is. He has developed so much over the last couple of years, and he's just a junior. So another year after this one, and the shot is through. Model remains perfect from the line. They're three of three from the free throw line in this game. Shooting at a 100% clip. There you go. Lucas Breyer checks back into the game, leaving it as Matt Hammock wearing double zero. One more free throw coming up from Dallas is on the way and it's through. They remain perfect. And Lucas Breyer is gonna bring it up the floor here for Central. I like how their jerseys just say Central. On yeah, the yeah, it's kind of cool. They go to the high post, send it underneath, turns, tries to shoot on Chase Allen, gets blocked. Yes. Got the ball back though. E.J. Fleetwood did, and he sends it back out to Harrison. Harrison dribbles behind his back on the right wing side, now drives, puts it up, little runner won't go. Chase Allen collects the board. Yeah. Chase Allen is playing the role of rim protector tonight. Allen with the drive, puts it up, and that won't go, but he does get the contact. And he's already two of two from the strike. With five points in this basketball game. And the two free throws and a corner three. To go along with it, can he add to it from the stripe? Model leads at 26 to 12. First shot on the way is through. They are dialed in shooting the basketball yeah. tonight so far. Another one coming up here for Chase. And if he makes it, it'll be a 16 point ball game and he does four or four from the stripe. Silky smooth delivery there from Chase Allen. Bringing it up the floor is Breyer, Lucas Breyer for Gordon Central. They need a bucket in the worst way right now, trailing by 16 points to model here on the road. Breyer with it being guarded by Riley Chapman. Looks like man to man right now from the Blue Devils. Harrison with the basketball. And Fleetwood gonna drive and gets blocked. Now he's gonna throw him for the, the elbow. Yes, he extended. Let's see on the replay here. Yeah, yeah, pushed off with the left hand, actually. Good call there. So Chase Allen defeated in to Stevie Dallas, who's going to bring it up the floor here for the Blue Devils. He's across the timeline with it. On to Allen, out to Noah Travis on the right wing, drives baseline, puts it up off the glass and through. Amongst the trees, Noah Travis finishes at the rim. Travis now with five and model with an 18 point 30 to 12 lead with 5.55 left to go in the second period. Breyer with it, gonna leave it off for Harrison. Harrison at the top of the key with it here for the Gordon Central Warriors. He is gonna start to make a move, lost the handle, feeds it out to Breyer as he retains possession. Breyer with it, drives into the lane, ball is poked free and pinballs off a couple of players and out of bounds is coming back to the Blue Devils. Solid defense from Model. Chase Allen defeated in to Stevie Dallas. Dallas will bring it up the floor wearing his purple shoes tonight. Gives it right back out to Chase Allen who also has on purple shoes. I think those are the same kind. There's Travis for three. That one's off the mark. He chases down the long rebound though. Noah does. Stevie Dallas with the ball. Gives it off to Bryson Denson. Now to Travis, he'll try again, and this time on the money. Fired through, sweet, sweet follow through and rotation on the ball from Travis as he hits his second three of the ball game. Well, Lucas Breyer with it now for Gordon Central. We're at the five minute mark here of the second quarter. Model leading at 33 to 12. After dominant performance from the girls in the first game, they won by 40. Gordon Central with the ball, feeds it up top to Hammock. 
Hammock and the give over to Hutchins. Now back to Breyer. He's going to make a move towards the baseline. He'll pick it up, kick it back out to Hammock, trying to get an open shot. Stakes off a defender, puts it up. That's off the front of the rim, and Model comes back the other way. You can feel this one slipping away from Gordon Central. Bryson Denson, Chase Allen, corner three on the way. That one's off the mark, a little too strong. And Gordon Central gets the rebound, brings it back the other way. Isaac Hutchins came out with it. Now Harrison's got it at the top of the key with 4.15 left to go in the second quarter. Oop, slipped, he's gonna need some help. Feeds it up to a, a teammate. And now Harrison's gonna drive towards the lane, tries to leave it off on the outside of Briar, got away from him. Um, I think model, the model tip it. Nope. Now, which way is it going? I'm not sure. I believe it's going to stay with Gordon Central. It'll be Isaac Hutchins triggering the ball in. He surveys the floor, fires it in, gets it to Harrison. They go up top to Breyer. Breyer tries to work around the pick. Now they go back up top to Hammock. Hammock is going to send it to the free throw line. Now kick it out to Harrison. Harrison dribbles at the top of the key, being guarded by Stevie Dallas. Makes a move into the paint. Nice move towards the bucket. Can't get the finish. And Model comes out with it. Stevie Dallas has got it, nearly lost the handle. He'll fire it across to Bryson Denson for three. That one's off the back of the rim. Long rebound taken by Isaac Hutchins. Model's cooled off just a little bit from behind the arc. Long three ball on the other side. That one's off the mark. Rebound, battle four and one by Bryson Denson. And Model has it. They're going to try to send it across to Chase Allen. Ball's poked free by Hammock. And now Gordon Central has it. Breyer breaks towards the baseline, puts it off the glass, and makes it. A nice finish there by Lucas Breyer. His first bucket of the game. Good pump fake from the corner and took it all the way to the rack. Owen oh, Mathis now going to send it over to Stevie Dallas. Back to Mathis being guarded by Breyer. So he'll pass to Bryson Denson, who's at the top of the key with it. Now back to Mathis, drives baseline, tries to feed it underneath to Allen. And that's going to be a whistle against Model. I think it hit Mathis. He was trying to, I couldn't tell if he was trying to make a pass there as he went. Yeah, he was. It was deflected, but then yeah, it hit Mathis on the shoulder. Here's Gordon Central. They feed it to Hammett, go back up top. Here's a three ball on the way. That one rattles Ooh. around the rim and off. And Chase Allen's there to get the rebound. Two minutes, 35 seconds left. Model with a chance to extend the lead. Stevie Dallas, the Feed over to Chase Allen at the top of the key. Now back to Dallas, who's on the left wing side. He'll dribble up top. Now between the circles, feeds it underneath to John Mason with the backdoor cut, and he scores. Yeah, great, great pass there from Stevie Dallas. Fired that one right on the money to the cutting Mason for two. 35-14, model leads it. They kick it out. Gordon Central does on the other side. Takes a couple of steps in, shakes off the defender, and scores. That was Isaac Hutchins with a nice move and finish. Couple of subs getting ready to come back into the game here for Model at a stoppage play. Patterson and also Travis about to check back into the game. Allen out to Dallas, 4-3, in and out. Hammett for the rebound. Breyer across center court for Gordon Central, tries to heave it to a teammate, poke loose, it ends up in the hands of Harrison. He turns, dribbles between his legs, feeds it out to a teammate, and that teammate is Isaac Hutchins. Now back to Harrison. Harrison trying to dribble around a pick, works his way down to the low block, puts up the shot off the glass, and it rattles in. Hudson's a talented player. Or was that Amir Harrison? Was. Harrison. Yeah. Yep. Amir Harrison pokes the ball free, a run out with Stevie Dallas, goes in, tries to lay it in too strong. And it almost, Dallas. yep. So we're going to see Harrison go into the free throw line. His first free throws of the game. As a matter of fact, Ian, this is the first time that we will have seen Gordon Central shooting free throws. All right. Believe it or not. With one minute and nine seconds left to go in the second quarter. So Harrison with a couple on the way. One is through. Get ready for the second free throw. As subs make their way into the game, you're going to have Riley Chapman and also, Thomas Patterson check into the game here for Model. One more shot coming up for a beer. It's on the way, and it is through also. Makes them both. Two for two. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%
John Ooh. Mason, nice crisp pass to Riley Chapman. The three ball, though, won't fall. Noah Travis has got it. 58 seconds under a minute to play in the first half. Model leads it by 15, 35 to 20 is your score. Chapman, another good pass to the left wing side. Mason for three, a little too strong. Here's Patterson trying to clean it up. Denson's in there, and he will get nice it. He will. Great hustle there by Model crashing the glass on the offensive end. 38 seconds on the clock, baseline dribble. They kick it back out to the right wing. Hammock's got it, 32 seconds, 25 seconds on the shot clock for Gordon Central, so a little bit of a differential there between the shot clock and the score scoreboard. Here's a long three on the way. That one's going to be left short. Chasing down the rebounds, Riley Chapman comes out with it, feeds it off to Noah Travis, 17 seconds, and the shot clock is off. Travis across the timeline. He's nearly trapped, backs up to around center court. Turns his trap, works around, feeds it over to Bryson Denson. Bounce pass underneath to Thomas nice. Patterson and through. Great finish, great feed. The, the sorghum syrup warrior gets the bucket. <laughs> I love it. Oh. And that is the end of the first half. In the model Blue Devils take control there, and they lead it 39 to 20, a 19-point lead going into the locker room. Impressive half from the model boys. It's been a good night to be a Blue Devil. It really has been. Well, we're going to take a break. We are just underway with a halftime period. Again, model leads at 39 to 20 over Gordon Central. We'll come back with a halftime show after a two and a half minute break. Introducing the new Onward High Performance Lithium Ion Personal Transportation Vehicle from Club Car. When it comes to style, power, and performance, look no further. The Onward HP Lithium Ion exceeds expectations with impressive hill climbing performance and high power acceleration. No other vehicle in the industry can compete. Our automotive quality, self-contained battery is protected by a corrosion-resistant and watertight steel case. This state-of-the-art battery is maintenance-free. And with an industry-leading six-year battery warranty, you can rest easy knowing your Onward HP Lithium-Ion is ready when you are. Welcome to the next era of club car innovation. W.C. Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, W.C. Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage, as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com or give them a call at area code 706-238 one two one four WC Timber and Tree Service Access that allows me to follow my passion Crestview Angus your source for premium locally raised beef delivering the finest quality from farm to table Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. halftime we welcome you back inside Woodard Gymnasium where we're courtside tonight for some model hoops and it was a successful first game in the girls game they would win 64 to 24 led and scoring by JV samples who had 17 points but you had 12 players that scored in that game so that was off to a good start the first half was very solid here for the boys team Ian how many threes did they hit most of them were in the first quarter but well, let's have a look at that yeah. model leads at 39 to 20 as far as threes are concerned model had seven threes in the first half and not to mention they were six of six from the free throw line 
So it was just a great shooting first half for the Blue Devils. Played great defense. All around great performance there for Jacob Travis's model Blue Devils. Yeah, up and down the floor. Um, just playing good team basketball and shooting the lights out, which has been a theme for, for the home team tonight. Indeed, and let's go ahead and run down the scoring. We'll start with the Gordon Central Warriors, and they pick up two points from Lucas Breyer. Also two points from Isaac Hutchins, two apiece for DJ Fleetwood and Travion Millsap. Three points for Peyton Chastain. He would make the only, well, actually they made two threes there in the first half. I'll go ahead and write that down. But uh, he made one of two threes for this Gordon Central Warriors team. And then the leading score for the Warriors there in the first half was Amir Harrison. He would knock down the other three, and he would have nine points total for Gordon Central. So let's run down the scoring for Model Blue Devils. We already mentioned that they were six of six from the free throw line and made seven threes. They would get two points from John Mason, seven points from Stevie Dallas, three points from Owen Mathis, eight points from Noah Travis. He was the leading scorer there in the first half for the Blue Devils. Six points from Riley Chapman, two for Bryson Denson, seven from Chase Allen, two apiece for Jeremiah Hurd and Thomas Patterson. So again, a great team effort there by the Blue Devils. They were sharing the ball and of course spreading it around in terms of the scoring. Yeah, I mean, you listen to that, that's extremely balanced. Uh, and they haven't even haven't even had the lead on the big man uh, at all. Jeremiah's hurt, only had two points. Yeah, yeah nine, nine players there in the first half yeah. in the scorebook there for the Blue Devils. So just, again, just a great, great team effort. Coach Travis has got to be really happy with the way things went there in the first half, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. And what, uh, as far as uh, the region outlook right now for, uh, for the model boys, uh, where do they stand as far as their record? Okay, well, the way it looks right now, Model is 3-1 and one in the region. Uh, Fannin County, North Murray, Model, and Rotmar all have one region loss, and Model's region loss was to North Murray. They let that one get away from them, but they'll get another crack at North Murray coming up a little bit later on. So um, you got, you know, a lot of really good play taking place in this region. You got some strong teams between North Murray and Fannin County, Model, uh, Rotmart, I understand they're very good. Nice. So we're going to get to see some good basketball. As far as where Gordon Central is right now in the region, they are number six out of seven teams so far. So they've had their struggles throughout the year. But, uh, but you know, some talent on their roster. I mean, they, they just were a little uh, over overpowered there, especially with Model shooting the ball as well as they were in that first half. Kind of run down what the rest of the coverage is like this week. I know that Model's going to be hitting the road coming up on Friday to play at Rotmart. So you'll have varsity girls and boys. Should be good games there. Uh, girls will play at 6. Boys will play at 7.30. No radio or live stream coverage of that one. So uh, make sure that you head out and watch those games down there in Rotmart. Not too far of a drive. And, Ian, you can always head to the pizza farm. Head to the pizza farm. And I'll tell you this, man, this past week, uh, within the span of seven days, I went to the pizza farm for New Year's Eve. Did you make it there this New Year? No, you know, we tried to go the week before and they were closed. I drove all the ah. way down there and they had shut down for the whole weekend. So I uh, missed out on that opportunity. Well, I went to the pizza farm and within the next seven days also went to Zorba's. And to me, th those are some of the best pizza restaurants that you can get around. Yeah. I love both those places. Uh, a lot of fun to go down and, and hit those up. So if you're a model fan, hit the road, get some good pie and maybe the Blue Devils can go on the road and beat the Yellow Jackets. One more break. Let's step out for two and a half minutes. Model 39, Gordon Central 20. We'll be back for the start of the second half in two and a half.
Access to me means I'm the first one in my family to come to college. Sé el primero. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment. Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists. W.C. Timber. Dogwood Books. Shannon Pharmacy. And Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. Kick it out to Hammock as we're just underway with the second half of the ball game. Nice reverse uh, really layup nice. right there by DJ Fleetwood to get the first bucket of the second half. Good start for Gordon Central. Yeah, good hands right there under the basket from Fleetwood. Here's Riley Chapman on the right wing side for the Blue Devils. Going to send it up top here to Noah Travis who tries to work around a screen set by Jeremiah's Hurd. Jacks up the three and it's good. Yeah, oh. Rolled off the pick there and they left him enough space to step into that one. And Travis is confident from behind the arc, his third three of the game. 42 to 22, model out to a 20 point lead here. 7 12 left to go here in the third quarter. Harrison with the ball, going to feed it up top here to Hammock. He'll try to bounce it underneath to Fleetwood. He'll back out around the perimeter. Now to Hammock, feeds it underneath to Harrison, drives towards the lane, now feeds it out to Fleetwood, who's going to drive into the paint, loses the handle, and Chase Allen falls on the ball, and it goes out of bounds. And Fleetwood just lost control there. Kind of surprised the ref swallowed the whistle, but the ball will stay with Gordon Central. Hutchins triggers it in. There's a quick shot off the inbound pass from Hammock. It's missed. Model comes out with the board. Noah Travis going to bring it across the center court stripe after a long pass here from Stevie Dallas. Lob over to Jeremiah's herd. And a whistle and a foul is going to be charged against Gordon Central. And it'll be Matt Hammett. So we get ready for Chase Allen to send things in motion on offense here for the model Blue Devils. They're going to get it to Noah Travis. Travis is going to be standing on the M here. The model M at midcourt. Tries to work around a screen from Jeremiah. Now they kick it back out. Now on to Noah Travis. Thought about a long three. Drives in after the fake. Kicks it out. There's Stevie Dallas. Drives baseline. And that goes off the side of the backboard into the hands of Hutchins. Here for Gordon Central. A really solid defense there by Gordon Central. Cutting off the angle for Dallas to get to the rack. Harrison with the ball at the top of the key. He starts to drive. Now leaves it off for Breyer. Lucas Breyer being worked on by Riley Chapman on defense. Feed out to DJ Fleetwood, lost the handle. Chapman almost came out with it. Now they're going to bounce it underneath. Hutchins backs his way in, puts it up, and knocks it through. Second bucket of the day for Hutchins. Riley Chapman going to lob it back out to Chase Allen. Now they work around quick to Stevie Dallas, and a quick three on the way. It's going to be missed. Here's Allen to try to clean it up. It's through, yeah. and he got fouled. And one. So yeah. Allen. Go ahead. That's impressive, impressive effort by Allen to uh, to get up there and get the, the rebound and the finish, Matt. He's got a three-point opportunity here, already with nine points in this game, and that's going to be left well short. Goes out of bounds. I'm not sure what happened there. Either. Yeah, if you were in the opposing gym, they'd be chanting at you because yeah. that one didn't even draw rim. And Allen, a very good free throw shooter. Yeah, he was four for four. Proof that that can happen to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> And that's exactly what I would say if I were up there and I did it. It can happen to anybody. Yeah. <laughs> it would happen a lot more to me than it does him, I can tell you that. Harrison with it at the top of the key. 
Hutchins with it. Now on to Breyer. Breyer being worked on by Bryson Denson, and he'll back up, reset the offense. Really tough defense right now for Model. Gordon Central really struggling to find some open looks. That's going to stay with Gordon Central. As Breyer tried to drive to the rack, couldn't get there. Breyer defeated in, is going to lob it in to Hammock. They go back up top to Hutchins. Now to Breyer, makes a move inside, kicks it out. Hammock drives baseline, feeds it off to DJ Fleetwood, who's going to back in with two defenders on him, hands it off, and they don't get a, the yeah. shot off in time. Shot clock violation, great defense there from Model. So Chase Allen to send things in motion here for the Model offense, Noah Travis. Noah Travis trots across the timeline at center court. Now going to give it off to Chase Allen. Allen with it up at the top of the key being guarded by Harrison works around two defenders puts it up and misses the shot Fleetwood gets the rebound and have Georgia Tech basketball at the conclusion of our broadcast tonight on WLAQ Georgia Tech hosting Notre Dame the Fighting Irish. That oh, goes that go through the five hole there it did yeah. it did. Headed back the other direction model leads by 20 44 to 24 with 428 left in the third quarter. Old hockey term there it goes between the legs. They call that the five hole for some reason. I'm not sure why. John Mason going to check into the game here for Jeremiah's Hearn. So on the floor right now for model, you got John Mason who just passed it to Noah Travis, Bryson Denson, Chase Allen, and also Owen Mathis. Here's a long three. That's going to be off the mark. A little too strong. Rebound's going to go. Good rebound and box out yeah. for Hammett. Harrison with it at the top of the key here for the Warriors. He's going to start to drive, puts it up off the glass, strong move towards the bucket. He's got 11, Ian. Yeah, he's played really, really well tonight. John Mason going to break for the bucket. Oh, nice move. Can't get the finish, but diving to get the rebound was Chase Allen, only to have his pocket picked by Breyer, who comes up the floor with it. He's across the center court stripe, drives towards the top of the key, backs up, will set up the half court offense. And now makes a move towards the basket, loses the handle, and there's a little contact with the body there from Model. I'm gonna have to do a little research on tattoos and minors, man, because you look at Breyer, he's got he's got some script all the way down his, his left leg. That wasn't legal when we were in high school, was it? I don't think yeah. so. I don't know what kind of parental you get I guess you could get a parental waiver, uh, I suppose. Maybe so. Yeah. Well, my parents would have killed me if I got a tattoo. Oh, me in too. School. Breyer about to send it in motion here for Gordon Central off the inbound pass. It was Harrison. I wanted to get my ears pierced when I was in high school so bad I couldn't stand it. Yeah. And my parents told me you can get your ear pierced when you graduate high school. So I walked across the stage, walked to the car, and went to the mall and got my ear pierced right after I graduated. <laughs> Shots on the way, and that was off the front of the rim. Wore it for a couple of years. Got it caught in a seat belt in my car, ripped it out, and I was bleeding. I'm like, eh, that's enough of that. <laughs> Missed the first one, getting ready for the second one, and that one is going to be through. That one rattles in. So the score is now 44 to 26 in favor of Model over Gordon Central. Stevie Dallas across the timeline. Model works at the left wing side. Now back up top onto Dallas. Dallas back up top to John Mason. Over to Owen Mathis. Open for three. That one's off the mark. I don't think he quite had an opportunity to get his feet set. Yeah, yeah, it didn't look like he had a clean handle on it either because Smith is pretty good from behind the arc. So Gordon Central almost lost it there on a lob pass. Here's a shot from the free throw line, left that one short. Good job by Harrison keeping it in, but it went back to model. Here's Owen Mathis with it, drives the lane, nice step underneath, gets it down to Chase Allen, he gets the finish. Good job there by Mathis to stay under control and make the dish. Gets the assist there to his teammate, Allen. Now Gordon Central with the ball. Shot from just inside the free throw line is missed. Chase Allen collects another rebound. One of these days we're going to have a statistician so we can give you numbers on rebounds and stuff like that too. Allen turns, shoots, wow. and scores. I'm surprised. It looked like he got hit on the arm there too, but he's able to hit that contested. Have Allen. a heck of a ball game. Allen now with 13 points. There's a long three on the other side. That's going to be missed. Long rebound there for Stevie Dallas and the Blue Devils. 
Blue Devils up 48 to 27 with 2.12 left to go here in the third quarter. They're going to send it right wing side, wide open three for Dallas. Yes, sir. Steps into it and levels it. Second made three of the night here for Stevie, and he's got 10 points. Across the timeline goes Briar. We're under two minutes to play in, and Model leads it 51 to 27. Been in control of this one for a long time. As a matter of fact, I think the only time they trailed it was when they were down two to nothing, yeah. if I'm correct. Yeah, I think that's correct. Ball is stolen away. Model has it. Here's Stevie Dallas with it at the free throw line, kicks it out to Owen Mathis, and the ball is poked out of bounds by Harrison, so it stays with Model. We're going to see some subs. In comes Thomas Patterson, Noah Travis, Riley Chapman. Model going with a much smaller lineup here. John Mason going to send it in motion. He gets it to Noah Travis. He got trapped in the corner. So now they'll pass it around to the top of the key. Stevie Dallas with a nice move underneath. Tries to dish over to uh, Patterson, but the ball's deflected out of bounds. And Gordon Central is going to bring it back up the floor. Breyer's got it. We're down to the 127 mark here of the third quarter. Model leading at 51 to 27. Breyer standing at midcourt with it. Sends it across to Corbin Grigsby. Ball not loose. John Mason comes out with it. He's on the deck with it. Gives it off to Patterson. Now on to Riley Chapman. Now back out to, to Noah Travis. Travis dribbles around to the top of the key, feeds it out. Riley Chapman for three, drills it. Yeah. Wide Ooh. open in the corner. Chapman gets his third three of the game. Model with the ball movement tonight and also excellent shooting. Breyer's got it. 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter, and this one's really starting to get away here from Gordon Central. Breyer with a corner three on the way, and that one's off the side of the rim. Patterson tracks down the rebound, gives it to Stevie Dallas, two on one in favor of Model underneath, and Stevie Dallas draws the contact. Now we'll go to the line for two. So Model in this game has got 10 made threes. Impressive. Stevie Dallas is at the charity stripe right now for the, the Blue Devils. The shot on the way is three. The girls warmed up the nets and the boys took advantage. <laughs> and that's the truth. Stevie Dallas with one more coming up after making the first. He's three of three from the stripe. And that one caroms off the rim. You cursed him, man. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm you, sorry, buddy. Stevie. It wasn't intentional. Lucas Breyer going to make his way across center court in front of the scorer's table. And there's a long three on the way. That one's going to rattle off the rim there for Mr. Fleetwood. Ball stolen away and a whistle and a foul. foul. Yeah. yeah, they got Harrison there with the reach. So we're down to the 15.5 second mark of the third quarter with Model leading at 55 to 27 here at Woodard Gymnasium. And we got another sub into the game here for Model. Bryson Bell is going to feed it in across the timeline. Oh, ball is going to be knocked loose by Harrison, but he can't keep it in bounds. Harrison's such a long player. Like, lanky. Game doesn't look terribly smooth, but he's a heck of a player. He really is. Stevie Dallas has got it. It's going to work his way across center court, being worked on by Harrison. Fires it right wing sided. Chapman three ball on the way, goes off the side of the backboard, and that is the end of the third quarter. Model leads at 55 to 27. We're down to the final eight minutes of the ball game when we come back in one minute. West Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors. Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College, Snodgrass and Robinson Plastic Surgery Specialists, WC Timber, Dogwood Books, Shannon Pharmacy, and Crestview Angus. 
Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. of the break here in between quarters. We're down to the final eight minutes of the game and Milo's got a 55 to 27 lead. You feel pretty good about that with eight minutes to go. Shot off the glass and through for Chase Allen. He's going to the line. It's up to 15 points on the night. Man, you gotta get some of these purple kicks, man. I know, I like it, man. Those are good looking shoes. Like three shades of purple. What are those? Are they? I, I can't tell. I can't yeah. see the Nike symbol on there. That's off the front of the rim, so he'll miss that one. Does not convert the three-point play, but Model's got a big lead, 57 to 27, up by 30 points in this ball game. So this is starting to look like the girls' game that we saw earlier. Model would win that one by 40. Warren Central going to try to lob it underneath to Harrison. He'll try to back his way in. Lost the handle for a moment. It's poke free again. What do you do with this model defense, man? That's ah, tough to solve, man. They have just been great, good help defense, great movement, um, making every every shot contested. And it's been a struggle for Gordon Central to score. Models made 10 threes in the ball game. They have seven of nine from the free throw line in this game. Here's a long three-pointer on the way on the other side. That's Lucas Breyer knocks down his first three of the game. Model going to bring it the other way. Stevie Dallas going to send it up top to Allen, around to Riley Chapman, on to Noah Travis. Now back out to Stevie. Stevie on to Noah Travis. They'll send it underneath to Jeremiah's herd. Nice pass underneath to Chase Allen, who got the finish. Nice feed from Jeremiah's. Yeah, an unselfish basketball there from Hurd. And now Central's going to bring it back the other way with under seven minutes to play in this one. Model up 59 to 30. Hammock, the feed to Breyer. Breyer with it in front of the Gordon Central bench. And he will dribble up towards the top of the key and tries to spin around into the paint, feeds it back outside to Chastain. Now they get it over to DJ Fleetwood who drives the lane and that's gonna be yeah. an offensive foul. Now lowered his shoulder and they will whistle him on that one. And a good job by Chase Allen taking the contact there. The original starting five out there on the floor here. Noah Travis with it, going to feed it up top to Chase Allen. They try to get it to Raleigh Chapman, but Peyton Chastain gets his hands in there and deflects it out of bounds. Blue Devils survey the floor. Nice pass outside to Raleigh Chapman from Stevie Dallas. Corner three from Dallas on the way. That's going to be a miss, and the rebound's going to go to Breyer. Big contrast when you see a Briar standing right in front of Jeremiah's herd. Isn't that the truth? Briar went coast to coast, missed the shot. Model came out with the ball after a one and done trip for the Warriors. Here's Noah Travis with the corner three and through. Man, when he steps into his shot and is not contested, you just you you think it's going down. As soon as it leaves his hand, really, really nice stroke there. Long three pointer on the other side for Fleetwood is missed. Rebound taken by Model. Noah now with four threes in the game made. Riley Chapman now on to DJ Fleetwood. Now they're going to work it back out to Noah Travis. Great ball movement, wide open three, and that goes in and out for Riley Chapman. Now halfway down for Chapman. Across the timeline goes Gordon Central. Five minutes and 21 seconds left to go in the game. And not only are we going to have Georgia Tech, Notre Dame hoops after this one, we're going to get in some of the pregame because that game doesn't tip until 9 o'clock. I'm going to get to listen to some of it on my way home and then watch some of it on television. Well, we got a timeout on the floor. Model 62, Gordon Central 30. We're back in 30. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today.
Breyer takes the inbound pass here for Gordon Central, and we resume. Five minutes left to go in this one. Model leads it by 32. 62 to 30 is your score. Gordon Central with the basketball, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Wow. Called the timeout, and still end up getting the shot clock violation. Model has outscored Gordon Central in the fourth quarter, seven to three. That's going to be a missed shot. Blue Devils get the rebound, though. Here's a long three-pointer on the way. That's off the mark there for Bell. Rebound goes to Hammock. The feet underneath to Harrison. Shakes off a defender and scores. That young man's a good basketball player. He absolutely is. He's got 14 points in this one. Does Amir Harrison. John Mason with it. Drives low block. Tries to bounce it underneath to, to Patterson. And as you mentioned, he walks. So that'll be a turnover. Man, I went to a college basketball game this past week and went and watched Jacksonville State open up Conference USA play against FIU, Florida International, out of Miami. And they got a guy that transferred over for Xavier. His name is Kiki Tandy. He dropped 35 points and made seven threes in that game. Man. And it's an awesome game. It's a lot of fun to see. Get Whistle to, by the official. You get a foul on Mason. And it was a historic win for Jacksonville State, played on their home court at Pete Matthews Coliseum, the Pete. It was their 500th win on that court. That's awesome. Or in that building, rather. There's a shot from DJ Fleetwood. Three ball off the mark. Rebound is going to be taken by Bryson Bell. And Model will work it back the other way. Owen Mathis back to Bryson Bell. On to Owen Mathis, drives into the lane, puts it up, gets blocked. But there's also contact. And that'll put Mathis on the line. So Mathis on the line after the foul from DJ Fleetwood. 3.51 left to go in this game. Model up by 30. Shot on the way is through. Owen's got four points in this one. Made a three early in the game. Yeah, part of that barrage of threes that, that opened up the lead for Model in the first half. They really haven't looked back. Mm -mm. You had a feeling that was the way it was going to go tonight. Shot is up, won't go. I, I thought that Model would take control of the game at some point, but I didn't necessarily think they'd be up by 30 or more, and that was a three ball made by Owen Mathis, his second of the game. Okay. 65 to 32, your score, Model on top, up by 33 points. Mathis going to bring it up the floor. He's across the timeline, feeds it to Bryson Denson. Now to John Mason, corner three on the way. That's off the mark. Gordon Central with the ball. They go left wing side, dry baseline, and some contact there from Bell. Well, Matt, it looked Safe to say Model's going to move on with a win. Big game on Friday night, though, on the road at Rockmart. Yep, as you mentioned, playing at Rockmart, and then they'll shot us off the glass, won't go. John Mason, that'll be a region game. Then they'll have a non-region tilt against Unity coming up here at Model on Saturday. We'll have a call of those games for you against Unity, boys and girls on WLAQ and also the live stream. So that'll be a lot of fun. Owen Mathis puts up the three. That one's going to be off the front of the rim. Bryson Denson comes out with it. John Mason with it on the right wing side, spins around, drives towards the low block, the feet inside to Patterson, can't get the ball to the rim. Here comes Owen Mathis with it. He gets blocked, good block by, who was that, Hutchins? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Hutchins that got the block. Sends it into the left wing corner, three ball on the way is off the mark. Patterson tracks it down, and here come the Blue Devils. 2.30 mark of the fourth quarter. Model leads at 65 to 32. We got another walk call. Yeah, huh? yeah. We're going to see some really fresh faces here. I think we saw some of these guys in the JV game. I think so. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and have to apologize because I don't think we've got everybody on our roster. I did see Christian Taylor check into the game. Dominique Fraley. Brandon, Braden Marshall. Pulling down the rebound there is Bryson Bell after the miss from Gordon Central. I think we do have them all. Underneath, off the glass, and through That's for crazy. Dominic Fraley. We do have them all. 
67 to 32, two minutes left to go in this one. Gordon Central on the other end, puts up the three and through. What a nice shot there from Trayvon Millsap. They could have used a few of those earlier in the game. Yeah, they should, they that could have. Nice touch on that shot. They feed it inside to Fraley, tries to get it to the rim. Can't get it there, Isaac Hutchins got the ball and Gordon Central comes back the other way with 140 left. They send it to the left wing corner back up top. Three ball on the way, that's <laughs> off the mark. Bryson Ditson's got the rebound. He's going to lob it down to Fraley, and the finger roll misses the shot. Nice move towards the bucket. Model gets the rebound. Turnaround jump shot won't go. And getting the long rebound is Sibley here for Gordon Central. Sibley goes into the lane and gets blocked by Bryson Ditson. Fun to see these young guys get out and get their opportunity to play. A little varsity basketball future of Blue Devil basketball out on the floor right now. So true. Gabriel Burgess going to send it in motion here for the Gordon Central Warriors. They also have some bench players out on the floor for the first time in this basketball game. 105 left to go in the game. Ball loose on the floor. Gordon Central hangs on to it. They got it at the top of the key. Now going to give it off to Millsap, who just made that three on their last possession. Ooh. Off the glass and through. That was Lloyd Nicholson. And he drew the contact. Sure did. Good shot there by Nicholson. So that cuts it back to 30. Model up 67 to 37. And here comes the free throw. That one rattles hard off the front of the rim. Bryson Bell gets the rebound, sends it down to Bryson Denson, who's got it on the right wing side. The feed across to the right wing. They get it in. Now they're going to kick it back out. They're trying to get it underneath the Fraley. Fraley in the feed outside to Bell for three off the back of the rim won't go. Rebound taken by Sibley and here comes Gordon Central back the other way with 34 seconds on the clock, 30 on the shot clock. So a little bit of a differential there. Here's a long three ball on the other side. Ooh, that was a bit of an air ball there. It was. I really can't think of a, another way to put it. More gentle, it is what it is. Denson on the other side, three ball. That one was off the mark. Gordon Central comes out with it with 13 seconds to go in the ball game. Nice move towards the bucket, kind of faked as he went in. And Burgess, is that how you say it? He got the bucket. Maybe so. Model will dribble this one out. And that's going to be the end of the ball game. Model is going to win it 67 to 39, your final score over Gordon Central. Big region wins tonight for the Model Blue Devils, Ian. Absolutely. A good night to be. A model blue double. We're going to send it back to the studio for a two and a half minute timeout down the line. We'll come back, run down the scoring, and recap the ball game and tonight's action. And we'll be back in two and a half minutes. Northwest Georgia Media would like to say thank you to the following sponsors Mathis Trailer and Equipment, Georgia Highlands College. Snodgrass and Robinson, Plastic Surgery Specialists. WC Timber. Dogwood Books. Shannon Pharmacy. And Crestview Angus. Thank you to all our sponsors for making this broadcast possible. You look exhausted. Dude, my to-do list got the best of me. I finally sharpened the blade, trimmed the yard, raked the leaves, and then I mowed. Yeah, me too. Get out. You're not even breaking a sweat. I know. My grasshopper trimmed around the yard, power back the leaves, and then mowed. I did all of it without leaving my seat. I gotta get a grasshopper. Finish fall cleanup and be ready for winter with a grasshopper mower. Here we go again. Crestview Angus, your source for premium locally raised beef, delivering the finest quality from farm to table. Contact them on Facebook to place your order today. WC Timber has been serving the Northwest Georgia and Northeast Alabama area since 1991. As a complete tree and timber service, WC Timber can handle thinning and clear cutting, tree chipping, stump removal, and storm damage as well as bucket truck and crane services. For more information, visit them on the web at wctimber.com 
or give them a call at area code 706-238-1214. WC Timber and Tree Service. Access that allows me to follow my passion. time tonight here inside Woodard Gymnasium to run down the scoring. It was a successful night for the Blue Devils. The boys just won 67 to 39 your final score and that was after the girls won 64 to 24. Here's how the scoring went. We'll start with Gordon Central. Three points from Lucas Breyer. Uh, four points from Isaac Hutchins. Two points apiece for Gabriel Borges and <laughs> Lloyd Nicholson. Four points for DJ Fleetwood. Five points for Travion Millsap. Um, three points for Peyton Chastain, the leading scorer tonight for the Warriors. Having a great game was Amir Harrison. He picked up 14 points for the Blue Devils, who were victorious. Two points from John Mason, 11 points for Stevie Dallas, seven for Owen Mathis, 14 points for Noah Travis, who also made four threes in the game, nine points for Riley Chapman off of three threes, two points for Bryson Denson, Two apiece for Jeremiah Hurd and Thomas Patterson. Dominic Fraley also had two points off the bench, and the leading scorer tonight overall in the game was Chase Allen, who had 17 points. And the final total in terms of three-point made shots in the game in was 12 made threes for the Model Blue Devils. It was a really good night for the folks in blue. Yeah, 10 of those in the first half. Uh, so it, it was a fun night to watch these guys come out and shoot the basketball uh, and, and wins for both boys and girls. Well, we're going to wrap it up really quick tonight because if you're listening on the radio side, we're getting ready for some Georgia, Tele Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets basketball against Notre Dame from the Georgia Tech radio network from Legend Sports. So for Ian Griffin, I'm Matt Davis and Lynn Butler back at the studio. And also we'll recognize the video crew, Benton Potts and Kayla Bice on cameras, director Mike Garrett, replay Nathan Patterson, Grayson Atkins on PA. I'm Matt Davis for Ian Griffin and Lynn Butler back at the station saying so long, everybody. Let's get you over to Georgia Tech basketball on WLAQ. Have a great night, everybody. We appreciate you.